We all know 3D printing is fun and all and makes many things possible, but not everyone is interested in its deep working knowledge and just want to get things made. So if you want to get a 3D model printed but do not want to get into too deeply in all the technical details, stick to the video. Welcome to 3D Find, my name is Sarah and let's start. Here are the few important settings that you need to consider to get your 3D object printed with the desired result. The first and the most important thing to consider is infill percentage. The infill is the amount of material that occupies the internal space of a piece. It could be from 0 to 100. 0 meaning the object is hollow and 100 means the object is fully solid. It largely impacts the strength of the object. But high infill percentage also means high material consumption and high print time. Generally, 20 to 25 percent is sufficient as this offers a nice balance between durability and material consumption. If the structure isn't the concern but cost is, the best infill range is 10 and 15 percent. Next, we go to the factor that majorly affects the print surface finish among other properties. It is layer height. It is the vertical resolution of the prints. This is the height of the layer deposited by the extruder or the amount travel upward each layer. It also contributes to the appearance of the print. The thinner the layer, the more layers per millimeter and smoother the texture of a printed object. 0.2 mm is the default setting in many slices, which gives a decent smoothness. You could go higher or lower depending on your needs. But you should know that the lower the layer height means more time it takes to print. Also, if you have still not subscribed to the channel, please hit the red button below to get more details about 3D printing. Next, we move on to the support structures. Well, it is required for the parts of the print which have a chance of collapsing during the print or to avoid distortion. They are absolutely needed for the case of long overhangs or high angles. They can also be used to secure a print in the bed, but only use support structure when needed as it increases the print time and material consumption and it also requires post-processing for cleanup and debugging. Support structures can also be avoided if possible using the next setting. This is the print orientation. Now it is the way the object is printed on the printer. The objective of choosing a proper orientation is to get a good strength surface finish. It also affects if the print is going to need any support structure and if it is going to stick well to the bed. So, these are the really basic things you need to know before getting to printing. If you want to know more about these settings in details, all these video links will be down in the description. Well, this was 3D Printing 101, which included all the basic details that you need to know to get 3D printing started. Also, if you guys have liked the video, then please don't forget to subscribe. And if you want your object or design to be 3D printed, there will be a link down in the description box. Please go and check it out. Thank you for watching and keep printing.